one thing I found is kind of tricky is to import the um, photos and movies that you take um, on the iPad. You can back them up okay, but um, being able to work onto them uh, and import them. So um, I plugged the iPad into the computer and it started iTunes and I closed iTunes. Now what I'm going to do is go to Applications and Image Capture and click that, double click that, and it will automatically see your devices that are plugged in and scanners and stuff like that. So what I do is usually um, down here and tell it I want to import to and I want to import down here and go other and then I'll be able to create a new folder on the desktop and I'll call this iPad okay create and it's picked it hopefully and then I'll tell it to import all well oh I gotta talk one more thing to choose that now I can tell it to import all now we'll see some of these are movies and some JPEGs, all the things that I have taken on the iPad, and so there. Then you can work with them on the Mac computer if you want. After that, so and if you run into trouble and you or out of space, you can bring them over to your Mac or even an external hard drive, and then delete them off of your iPad to to clear up your space. Uh, see now all these are checked. See little check mark, green check mark. These are all, all imported now, uh, so it makes a nice backup as well. In a way, a different kind of backup. Okay, that's it. Importing your movies and images um, from your iPad. You can do the same thing from the iPod Touch.